share for the trucking audience specifically what you would want them to take away from what's going on? The, the most important one is potentially, if I look at all the tweets and, and social media feedbacks, the one feedback which I really want to take every angst or anxiety, to use the American word, angst is the German word, away is we don't want to make the driver obsolete. You know, nothing will replace during our lifetime you know, the driver. Nothing can, you know, the, the human brain is still the best computer money can't buy. Uh, so nothing replaces the driver. What we are doing is driver assistance systems which make the life of the driver easier. Mm -hmm. So let's imagine we could really prove that those support systems will significantly reduce driver fatigue, meaning a driver can stay longer behind the wheel, mm -hmm. fresh, alert, you know, safe, uh, doing his job, that would increase productivity of the fleet and would certainly increase income for the driver uh, and it would be a win-win situation for the economy and mm -hmm. on all of us. What would your message be to the general public, not as familiar with trucking, that may sort of hear about this and, and, and see it, think of it as a science fiction tale and, and, and immediately yeah, and, and there's but another anxiety. The yeah, side? and there, there's another anxiety where, where I was approached to somebody. Would you, would you feel would you feel scared if a if a computer guided truck is next to you? No, I would feel safer. You know, because the uh, you know, line, uh, uh, our lane departure warning systems, uh, the 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 braking uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, support systems we have make ultimately a truck safer. We only will bring a system; it will make significantly safer. It's not just to replace, you know, human behavior with a similar behaving computer. It's we we, we support the human behavior by a computer which enhances our capabilities mm -hmm. enormously, and that makes it. Safer. So, so I would say the general public should embrace the technology, not fear the technology. Uh, the basics of the, the safety systems already exist today on, on some of the products yeah. you have. This inspiration truck sort of taken to some, some, some next level, some, some maybe slightly futuristic technologies. Yeah. Would that be a fair assessment? Yeah, ab absolutely. I mean, and and we, we won't potentially see that truck on the road like it is mm -hmm. today. So it's an important first step. It's a step. Uh, we have here the, uh, the, the, the motive uh, where we say customers are in inspiration. And on the other side, our products inspire our customers mm -hmm. to more uh, to, to more ideas and we want to inspire the legislators. We had very good talks here with the Department of Transportation here in Nevada. They didn't give us that license plate easily mm -hmm. and that was a challenge for us to fulfill their requirements and that's all about safety and reliability about the system and, 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 and that truck will help us to increase it mm -hmm. further. So it's a first step but an important step. Other steps will follow and ultimately we'll have a great product out or we have parts of those products out. Uh, in the market. For me, it's like 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 flying to the moon. You know, we don't live on the moon these days, mm -hmm. but we have great satellites mm -hmm. and GPS systems and, and, and stuff which really enhances our daily life. And I see that more like flying to the moon, mm -hmm. uh, where we, we get a lot of benefit from auxiliary or part of those systems in our daily life. Uh, how important is it to have a fleet such as uh, Conway and Swift, ones that were part of your video presentation over the past two days? How important is it for Daimler moving forward in the industry as a whole to have them as sort of a partner in building the support uh, towards this movement on the autonomous vehicles? Every customer who commits long term to Daimler Trucks North America, to our brands, like Swift, like Conway, like Nussbaum yesterday, uh, are part of our development process. We try to engage them at least once a year, if not more frequently, uh, into our long term thoughts, into our visions, uh, have our engineers with them, have them with us, and really get out of that infinite loop. They give us ideas, we show them solutions, they comment on the solutions, we refine the solutions, and out of that, that's for me the only way how you get great products. We are here to serve our customers. We are not here to just make the life of an engineer fun. All but right. we have fun in engineering. All right, well, congratulations on the event, and thank you for taking the time to speak okay. on Transport Topics. Yeah, thank, thank you. you guys.